Tom Ustake here back for a big break here on the bike channel and I am actually going to do an unboxing with the voice over here because the wind was phenomenally loud and I decided to just come back in and re-record my audio and I'm going to speed up the video footage because this is unboxing of the Hyper Explorer. It's a $250 29er hardtail that caught my eye when I was browsing through some things to basically take a look with my stimulus money and see if I could get myself a, a new bike to tinker with. And this actually caught my eye when I was in Walmart for some other basic necessities. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to get one of these and try it out. Because the frame itself looked quite nice. And it had some recognizable parts, even if they're not what you would normally think. Now, it, Snafu is something I remember from years ago with BMX parts being actually a pretty good brand. And this had Snafu cranks and a Snafu saddle that actually looks really good. And also it had a Falcon uh, chain guide and rear derailleur. Now, Falcon, of course, has been around for whoever knows how long. But they've been very bottom tier componentry. And despite what their... Uh, presence was in the past as far as being very cheap bike components this rear derailleur on this and the single ring guide in the front actually surprised me with what it looked like it looks actually very very good quality and so did the uh, cassette now aside from that the cranks look good the frame is just I don't know how this frame is on a $250 bike I don't really understand how they did it the hyper i've had a couple of hyper bottles before but the hyper frame is fantastic now i'm taking a quick look here at the snafu saddle and as you see the stitching on it is beautiful it's actually i've already rode the bike now for a little bit and it is very comfortable there i am showing it <laughs> in the top left but getting back to piecing this bike together it actually went together very smoothly i only had one hang up which i'll show here in a little while but the frame on this, the hydroforming on, on the tubing is fantastic. It has a very, very nice head tube and top tube junction. The uh, top tube itself, as well as the down tube, have so much tube manipulation to them, and the welds look flawless. I am just shocked. Even if you were just to buy it for the frame alone, this bike would be worth it. But... All in all, it's like the stock crank set's good. The drivetrain seems solid enough. The mechanical disc brakes work fairly well because I rode it for about an hour after assembling it and just just around my yard, driveway, and neighborhood. No trail riding just yet. I'll do, do that more this week and this coming weekend. But I am thoroughly impressed. The, uh, the fork is absolutely a part that's going to have to be replaced as fast as I can afford to that and the seat post but my only hang up was these two stem uh, faceplate bolts as you can see they both were bent these two were the top two bolts and they were uh, actually left way out on the stem during shipping and I, something must have impacted the box I didn't have any visual damage but these bolts were bent exactly the same direction they were bent downward so I'm just finishing up. I had replacement hardware in my uh, in a hardware container I keep for bike parts, and so I just slapped in two replacement stem bolts, and off I went. Here I'm throwing on the pedals, which are your typical fare. They're uh, they're s nice alloy bodies with unsealed bearings, but they'll work good enough for now. Uh, I'm gonna ride this bike for at least a few weeks as it is. There I am, just doing find a little spin on my hand and then tighten it with the pedal wrench and get the bike put together cleaning things up a little bit and again there I am tightening up the uh, 15 millimeter nut on the hubs and here we are and now here we have a final assembled bike I know it was to the top of the camera screen but that was kind of intentional to show the parts laid out and then me working on it to get it put together that total in real time, including me stepping aside to grab my pedal wrench and some other things, was under 20 minutes of assembly. I don't know what the final edited video will 
be as far as the length of time. I'll try to keep it from being too long. But this is the Hyper Explorer. That's a 29 inch wheeled hardtail with a one by nine drivetrain. I will of course do further further videos on this because I'm very interested in some of the components on this. The uh, Falcon drivetrain in particular, it's running a Falcon chain guide on the front and a Falcon one, but of course nine speed rear. And I'll be very interested to see because Falcon of course for years has been known as a very cheap brand, but I seen one of these in the store and I was actually impressed by the, the sturdiness of particularly the rear derailleur but also of that chain guide. It actually looks good. And so does the Snafu cranks, and in particular, overall the frame. That's a beautiful electric blue type paint job, if I can get in close. Very nice glimmer to it. And it comes with a mechanical disc brake set, which I'll do an overview video on this, that is of an off-brand, but the frame looks good. Everything looks came together nicely. I did have the two stem screws up here. For now, just to get the video done, I have put uh, one here and one down here. I will have to get replacements. I should have them in my hardware bin, but I will have to replace those. But the Hyper Explorer put together, and what you'll actually need in the end is I removed the uh, two reflectors, one off the seat post, one off of the uh, handlebar with a Phillips. Then you'll need, of course, Allen wrench or just a multi-set like this, a pedal wrench or the applicable uh, size, which I, I don't actually don't know that from memory, a 15 millimeter socket or a 15 millimeter wrench to ensure that the hubs are actually secured properly. That is a 15 millimeter bolt on wheel, unfortunately, that will eventually get changed. For now though, I will test the bike as it came. But I hope you enjoyed watching this. And this is Mungo Shake with the Hyper Explorer 29er hardtail from Walmart as a $248 bike. But again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.